Hello, people of the United Kingdom. I'm um, Saki again, and I've just released the poll for who to vote for, and one of the options I put is a Holy Roman Empire state. What I mean by that is, it is basically, um, I'll choose a a state of the Holy Roman Empire at my discretion. It can be anyone. Um, I will display some of the, like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some of the nations that are in the Holy Roman Empire. And if you have a specific one in mind, that you can tell me. You can tell me. All right. First off, there's this nation, Holstein. And by the way, if you see right here, um, the more blue that's in this bar, the harder the nation is to play as. They only have this one little province right here. And Holstein, mostly, mostly you may know Holstein is the. Um, it's one of the regions that Prussia. Um, I can't remember if it was Prussia or Austria, but they took that region and they they from Denmark, and that basically started the process of Prussia becoming Germany. Um, let's see. There's Bremen. Not much to say about these guys. They're an art archbishopric, which means I won't be able to forge marriage alliances. Um, they only have this one little nation, but they have an ocean, which which is a big plus. I mean, if you have access to the ocean, it's a lot a lot easier to play. Um, you have Hamburg. Uh, not much to say about Hamburg. Um, they're landlocked at first, so uh, like probably my first strategy to play as Hamburg would be to take on this nation, to take this territory right here because it's very rich and it's also a center of trade here. Um, they're a merchant republic, so like they um, are very good with trade. If you see like right there, merchant republic. Um, then there's Mecklenburg. These guys are pretty good to start as. Like, uh, if you notice that their difficulty is not as much. They only own these two provinces, but they have a center of trade, center of trade here at Lubrecht. Um, Lubrecht, uh, it's a center of trade, which means, like, it means, like, uh, all nations all over that, that have, um, nations that have, that have access to the ocean will be sending, uh, merchants to this center to, uh, trade. And also any um like any region like any any region around here it like that's in that's it within its area of influence is tied to this uh, market so that's, that's, that's it makes it gives them a very powerful start. Um, then there's Brandenburg. <coughs> the start with Brandenburg um, has is in a union under Luxembourg. Um, they're over here somewhere. They're right here. Um, but uh, Brandenburg like they start off with four provinces, so they have um. So they have a little more. They have a little more to begin with. Uh, the problem, like my first strategy plan, is that would probably be to go after Pomerania up here and get access to the ocean. But uh, these guys are pretty, uh, pretty decent considering, and they're also an elector of the Holy Roman Empire, so I can elect people to be the Holy Roman Emperor. Um, then there, like also Brandenburg is also historically the uh, na the nation that uh, that united with Prussia and formed Brandenburg Prussia, which later became the Kingdom of Prussia. Which later became Germany. We had no all that. We all know what happened after that. Then there's Pomerania. These guys have exited the ocean, but they're pretty much they're they're in a pretty bad position to begin with. Um, if to survive as Pomerania, you're gonna have to forge a lot of alliances really early if you want to survive, because uh, most likely, uh, states like uh, Denmark, Sweden, uh, Brandenburg, and and honestly, and, and obviously the Teutonic Order will be um, all over you in seconds. <clears throat> so my first strategy would probably be to form a lot of alliances really early, and also probably see if I can steal Lukeburg from Mecklenburg. Then there's Misian. I'm not going to go much into detail with these guys. I have absolutely no clue who these guys are. They're just a generic German state that I don't know about. Uh, Saxony. There. Saxony. Honestly, I thought it would be a lot bigger. Like uh, Saxony is supposed. It's it's supposedly very uh historically popular. Um. I'm not. I'm not sure if that came out right, but um, it's like uh, like any if you played Age of Empires or any of that stuff, Saxony's mentioned a lot. So I would think Saxony would be a little more important. They also, I think, are an elector. I don't remember. Um, then there's Thuringia. I have no clue who these guys are or what to do. Um, they have a really odd, odd flag, like it's up here in the corner. It's pretty odd, and also it's like almost exactly identical to the Hesse flag, which is this one right here. <clears throat> Speaking of Hesse, um. They are, if you notice, they're in the middle of like a huge like um, cluster of nations. So my strategy will, ob will honestly be like to try to push push this way, like towards the northwest, and hopefully get to the ocean. 
Um, yeah, most of my strategy involves getting into the ocean because ocean trade is really, you I mean, you have to survive as a nation, you have to, like, get access to the ocean. Um, Hesse, historically, you probably, most people know these guys as the, uh, German mercenaries that the British hired to, uh, fight in, uh, to, to fight the Americans in the American Revolution. So, that's probably where you might have heard them from. <coughs> Woosberg, I have absolutely no clue who these guys are. I'm not going to go into much detail of them. Men, same thing. Trier. Um, Trier, the nation, the people, most, most people probably would know this actually from a computer game, uh, Rome Total War, because this is a settlement in Rome Total War, so... Um, obvious, so as far as I can tell, Trier is a, um, has been around since the whole, has been around since Germania has been around, so they're pretty old. Um, Cologne, not much to say about them. I know, like, I've heard them from somewhere that I think they're an important city in Germany today, but right now they're nothing. Cleves, <coughs> if you guys want me to get a, a really awesome start really early, Cleves is a nation to go. For some reason, Cleves has got, um... Cleves is a, is a very important, um, it, it becomes like the Horror of Empire almost instantaneously, like, more than likely, uh, upon, like, in the, or in the very beginning, Bohemia is going to have them, is going to have the, Bohemia's leader is going to be the Horror Roman Emperor, but, uh, it's, honestly, like, all the electors, for some reason, choose Cleves, like, almost immediately, I'm not sure why. Uh, Munster, nothing to say about them, Oldenburg, same, Friesland, same, Ultrecht, Ultrick is, like, I think I remember hearing about, like, them being famous for mercenaries. I'm not exactly sure. <clears throat> Gallery, the same way. There's Holland. They're under a union under High Newt, which is right... No, that's not it. Right here. Um, <clears throat> Holland, as... Holland, my strategy would be to take this territory right here called Antwerpen. It's a center of trade. It's owned by Burgundy. And I know Burgundy looks really powerful, but honestly, if I like Burgundy gets like gets picked on by everyone, um, so I'm not too concerned about like uh, fighting them as soon as I get a big enough army to hold that province. Burgundy, I think, is a member of the Holy Roman Empire. I'm not exactly sure, but Burgundy gets picked on by everyone, France especially, um, and and England. England will pick on them all the time because England's going to want Antwerpen. And also, like, they own the, all these Dutch territories, and, like, and this is a, um, and honest, obviously, Burgundy is, on, is down here, but uh, up here, it's, like, all the Dutch territories, so all the Dutch people will be revolting against me almost immediately. <coughs> Heine was a member, I'm not exactly sure about them. They are in an alliance with Holland. Liege, there's Liege. Um, Luxembourg, most people know Luxembourg as the, um, as where all the corporations like have their headquarters because Luxembourg is so freaking rich in the middle of all of Europe. Uh, Lorraine, most people know Lorraine as the territory that uh, Germany stole from France during World War One, and France like uh, wanted it back, and that's what that's part of what the House of World War Two got involved. Wait, hold on, no, I got that mixed. It's um, <clears throat> Germany stole Lorraine, Alice Lorraine, from France during the Franco-Prussian War in 1871, and in World War One, that's when France got it back. Sorry about that. I wasn't thinking. There's Alice. Alice and Lorraine are two separate territories at the beginning, but, um, like, Alice never gets conquered, honestly. i never seen Alice got con get conquered, because Alice always gets, um, because, on, because Alice is like a, a, uh, how should I put this? Oh, yeah, they, like, form alliances with everyone early on. They almost do nothing, so, like, Honestly, I'm not sure how I'm going to play as them, mostly because of, like, how, central, how like, in, in, in the Europe it is. So I'm not sure where, which direction to go, and should I go north, south, whatever comes first. <clears throat> Switzerland, they are not a member of the Holy Roman Empire, but they always, for some reason, join, like, almost immediately. Mostly because, um, if you're a Holy Roman, if you're a member of the Holy Roman Empire, um, if, if any nation attacks you, you, like, the Holy Roman Emperor of the time, if it's Bohemia or Austria... They immediately uh, declare war on the nation that declared war on you. Uh, like, you're protected by the Holy Roman, Holy Roman Emperor almost immediately. Wittenberg. Uh, Wittenberg and Bavaria always have, like, a f always duke it out all the time. I'm not sure why. I'm, it's just, like, every time I play, Bavaria and uh, Wittenberg always go after each other. So if I play as Wittenberg, I'll probably go after Bavaria. <coughs> Bavaria, um... Bavaria is pretty famous as a German state, like, like, uh, Bavaria pops up almost all the time. I think they were allies of France during the, um, 
can't remember which war it was. Um, I can't remember. It might have been the War of Austrian Secession. I can't remember. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Bavaria be, is, a, on, is a strong candidate for the Hohenberg Emperor position. I think they're an elector as well. Then there is Ansbrock, Ansbach. Nothing to say about them. Um, they get picked on by everyone. Like the Palatinate want, wants them. Uh, Wittenberg wants them. Bavaria wants them. And Wuzburg occasionally. They go after them. So Ansbach is pretty much uh, the nation that gets picked on by everyone. So I'm not sure what to do with them. Then there's the Palatinate. They're an elector as well. I played as them recently. And honestly, I kind of like the Palatinate as a Holy Roman Empire, na Holy Roman Empire nation. The only issue is... They own these two territories and this territory, so they're kind of separated by Ansbrock. That's probably why Ansbrock gets attacked all the time, because uh, that's probably who I'll go for first. <clears throat> as soon as the uh, B Bohemia doesn't become the Holy Roman Emperor, it's not the Holy Roman Emperor anymore, and become in, like a shitty nation becomes the Holy Roman Emperor, like Cleves. And then I'll probably go after Ansbach. Um, let's see, did I miss anyone? Uh, oh, oh yeah, Bo Bohemia is a member of the Holy Roman Empire, and they're the Holy Roman Emperor in the beginning, so they get the awesome benefits of being the Emperor immediately. Uh, Bohemia is pretty powerful, as you probably noticed. Um, the only issue is they're surrounded by a lot of really powerful people, like Poland, Austria, and Hungary. So, like, trying to expand is kind of difficult, considering they're surrounded by really powerful people. Same with Austria, they're also a Holy Roman Emperor nation, and they're also a really strong candidate for the Holy Roman Emperor slot. Uh, Milan is not a member, but they always join as well. Honestly, I don't know what the AI thinks when they always join, but it's, I mean, this gets this stuff gets crazy like all the time. Like as on my Germany campaign, uh, France became the only Roman emperor, which is weird. <coughs> so like, I mean, like it like it gets like it gets really confusing really early. Um, like, and pretty much anyone could join if they're close enough to the Holy Roman Emperor. Like, um, also Teutonic Order is a member as well. Um, they almost never get chosen as a Holy Roman Emperor, though. So, like, most of the time, like, if, like, if, like, half the time, like, I only join the Holy Roman Empire to get the benefits of joining, which means no one can attack me without getting attacked by, uh, the Emperor himself. Um, but I mean, I, I pretty much, like, with the first chance I get, the first chance, like, the Emperor becomes really weak and he also is pissed off at me, like, is the chance I leave. Because I really don't see the benefits of becoming the emperor if, like, they, you never get chosen. Um, Poland has Poland has the potential to become be, to join the Holy Roman Empire. Like, it's a given the option, but it's not it in the beginning. It almost never gets, it almost never joins, and when it's played by a computer. <coughs> but um, if I play as Poland, um, I probably will join the Holy Roman Empire to because uh, Poland honestly is in a position to get a lot of power really fast. Um, the Teutonic Order is pretty much isolated, and everyone hates them at the beginning. So I can pretty much go after them without getting much reprisal. reprisal. And plus, uh, Danzig is right here. And for all of you uh, people who, um, who who are not very good with history or are from Poland, it's called Gdansk now. Um, but I can go after Danzig and get access to the ocean, which will make me super powerful. And... Bessarabia, well, Mal Moldavia is also is like allied to no one and everything. I can go after them pretty quick, and vassalize them eventually, annex them, which will make give me access to the Black Sea, as you know, it's down here. <coughs> they're also they're also have control over Lithuania at the time because it's called Poland Lithuania at the time. So like any nation to declare war on Lithuania will automatically declare war on them as well. So, like, if I declare war on the Teutonic Order, and I just want the like these two provinces down here. Like, the Lithuania will go, like, we'll send, like, we'll just bull rush the Teutonic Order up here in, like, the main area. And, and then the Teutonic Order will be too busy fighting them to, for when well, I can just steal these two provinces away from me easily. So, honestly, Poland, if they join the Holy Roman Empire and also, um, also cripple the Teutonic Order early, then they're pretty much in a position to, to, to dominate Eastern Europe. Um, here, hold on, let me see if I can find real quick. Whoa. I'm just trying to see if I can find Persia real quick and see if, like, I can play as them eventually. I'm guessing this is, is Persia. I wouldn't know. No, no, 